David. Where have you been? I've been waiting for you to get back to me. Okay, I'm, I am in a terrible, terrible trouble. I made a big mistake. All right, calm down. Whatever it is, just tell me where you are and I'll fix it. No, you can't fix this. You can't fix it. Of course I can. Haven't I always? Hurry up. David? David, are you still there? Uh, yes, of course I am. Um, and I'd love to go over those results with you again, but it's gonna have to wait. I'll, I'll get back to you. No, 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 you can't get back to me because I don't have my cell phone! <sighs> you what you're doing here before well i guess um you don't have to answer that question well, i knew you were off duty yeah but you weren't i have an hour you have an hour so you came here to spend it with me you have to keep practicing if you want a baby oh well i see now that that makes more sense that's the chief of police being efficient right do i look like the chief of police right now <laughs> listen um Actually, I had to leave because I'm supposed to go check on a patient right no, now. You're not going anywhere, at least not for an hour. I mean, I can't very well make a baby on my own. I can try. You said we take advantage of every possible moment, remember? Yeah. I left all those criminals out there. On the loose. Is this not a good idea? No, no, it was... It was a great idea. You just caught me off guard, that's all. No, that's not all. There's something else. I know what it is. Oh, this is all wrong. You're right. How can I be right? I never said a word. Well, I come over here like I'm on some government mission, you know, and this is the uniform, and I come barging in here, expecting you to perform whether you want to or not. You know, you're very attractive right now. Embarrassment becomes you. Not that I get to see you very often. But... <sighs> Don't get used to it. Anna, I was wrong. You came all the way over here to make a baby with me, and you, you went for it. Yeah, but not with any sensitivity. I know you want a kid, and it took you so long to make this commitment. Well, two weeks ago, you weren't fully committed either. I'm not rushing things, am I? Are you? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I, I think I went for it so that I couldn't talk myself out of it. So you're still having your doubts? No, it's not doubts exactly, David. It's... It's been so long since I've allowed myself to actually want something. And wanting your baby as much as I do is scary. Anna. Because I'm imagining a future that I didn't think could happen. I'm actually out of excuses for postponing happiness. Because here I am with the man I love. And I just have to keep reminding myself that nothing's going to take that away. No. Nothing is going to take what we have away, Anna. I won't let that happen. I'll take that as a promise. So how much time did you say you have? I got an hour. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. This has been a very long night. Chief is going home to her husband. You should go home to your wife. Let me, look, I told you, I wasn't even going to the ladies first. You've got the wrong man. That's what got invented lineups. Chief Clark Markham here. Is this our purse match? Yeah. Oh, good. Good work. Do you have a report? I can't stick around. I'm going to miss my kid's dance recital. I can't. Okay. Yeah, go. Thanks a million, Chief. Um, okay. Could I get a fresh cup of coffee? Thank you so much. Well, you look like a reasonable 
Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not. And I'm going to warn you, I'm not in a very good mood. Damn it. Why can't I reach you? All right, all right. If you left Nevada, where would you go? Maybe your cell phone is working again. Are you ringing? It didn't take your phone. Okay, give me your phone. No, the phone belongs to me. I doubt even your teeth belong to you. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Is anyone there? 